Over the past week or so, both of my daughters have gotten robot kits. And these robot kits come with the parts that you need to build the robot, as well as the instructions. And it has been a very interesting process. One robot was easier to build than another. Um, one instruction manual was a little bit easier to understand than the other. But that might be another encouragement video for another day. One of the things that stands out to me, though, about these robots is that after they're assembled, they don't really know what to do on their own. They need to be given commands. They can't do anything unless they're programmed to do it. And so if I were to just let one go on its own, it's not like it has free will. It's not like it has choice that it has to make. In fact, it just does what its programming says for it to do. And so in that way, they're very limited. You know, if I were to look at this at a robot uh, that we've that we've been working on, at the end of the day, even if it were to, you know, write out something back to me like "I love you," uh, would I really believe it? It would just be me inputting, and then it spitting it back out, just regurgitation. And that I think is what makes God's choice so interesting in giving humanity free will. You see, he didn't design us like robots. Instead, he decided to design us in his own image and then to give us free will. And that free will, I think, is a, is a double-edged sword, right? <laughs> uh, we can choose the, the two different paths are, that are in front of us, right? There's a narrow way and a wide way. And so... It's interesting that God made this decision to give us free will. But I think it's a very good decision because it allows us as humans to express love back to God, not because simple regurgitation, but because we've processed it and we've chosen to do so. And some of the passages that probably come to your mind are things like, choose this day whom you will serve, right? But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. We think about all the people throughout the biblical history that in front of them, they had choices. And yet we see especially those that have chosen to follow God and the love that they express for him by doing what he asked them to do. And so when we think about our God, I want us to think about the fact that we are choosing to love him back. Not because we're simply regurgitating, but because he didn't make us like robots. He gave us free choice and he encourages us to freely choose him. And so what I wanna encourage you with is, is this, this week, think about the incredible gift that God has given you in free will. And think about how you can express your love back to God, not because of regurgitation, but because of appreciation. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day and may God bless you.